Today, we delve into a critical topic in companion animal health, high-rise syndrome in cats. Moving into the fascinating results of the first part of this study, which analyzed over 1,100 cases of cats treated for high-rise syndrome at a veterinary clinic in Berlin between 2004 and 2013. The researchers found that the European short hair breed was overwhelmingly represented, accounting for a significant 82% of all cases. The cats involved were relatively young, with an average age of 2.3 years, and their falls were almost equally distributed between male and female cats. Perhaps one of the most striking findings was a strong seasonal pattern. A substantial 77% of all incidents occurred during the summer months, which the study defined as April through September. Within this period, the highest incidence was observed in July, followed by August and June. Conversely, the lowest incidence was recorded during the winter months from October to March. The time of day also played a crucial role, with the majority of incidents, specifically 62.1%, taking place at night. The average fall height was found to be in the range of 8 to 15 meters. Furthermore, a significant majority of cats, 74.2%, landed on hard surfaces. Interestingly, the study also documented a small percentage of repeat incidents, with 1.4% of cases involving cats that had experienced two separate falls. These results provide a robust epidemiological snapshot of high-rise syndrome in a major European city. These results offer critical insights, and the discussion section of the first paper truly delves into their implications. The observed higher incidence of falls during the summer months, peaking in July, August, and June, is a particularly compelling finding and aligns with several previous investigations. This is likely due to the typical absence of air conditioning in Berlin's residential buildings, meaning that during warmer seasons, people rely on open windows and balcony doors for ventilation. This increased exposure to the outdoor environment, where cats often enjoy basking in the sun or observing birds and butterflies, significantly contributes to the heightened risk of falls. The study also highlighted that the majority of incidents occurred during the evening and nighttime hours, specifically between 1800 hours and 600 hours. This pattern contrasts with some studies from other regions where accidents were more frequent during the day. The researchers suggest that in Berlin, this nocturnal peak might reflect the working hours of cat owners. During the day, windows and doors are often kept closed for security, but they are open for ventilation when owners return home in the evening, increasing the fall risk. Moreover, accidents occurring at night are more likely to be promptly observed and reported, facilitating quicker veterinary intervention. The prevalence of European shorthair cats, accounting for nearly 82% of cases, is believed to reflect the regional feline population and ownership preferences in Berlin, rather than an inherent breed predisposition. Thank you for listening to the Veterinary Medicine Digest. If you're enjoying this, remember to like, share, and subscribe as proceeds from this channel go directly to providing vital veterinary care for animals in need.